everyone, good evening and welcome to India's first animator live tuition. Hello everyone, we are on time so it's time to begin the session. All you have to do is just turn on the cameras. Do you want me to repeat this in every classes? Quickly turn it on, quickly turn on the cameras. Quick, quick, let it be quick and we have to start the session without wasting even one second. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Yes, shall we start the class then? Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up so that we can start our session. Uh, Ma'am, can you please unmute one? Okay, let's unmute. Uh, Daniel. Daniel. Yes, Daniel, yes. how's the studies going? Uh, it's going good, teacher. It's going good. Yes, so, yes. you remember everything that we have taught in the previous session, right? Teacher, uh, most of it, yeah. Most of it, yeah, that's fine. Very good, David. And one more, man. Let's ask Sanjit. Sanjit, why did you raise your hand? Simply. Simply, so that the ma'am will call you, right? Yes. <laughs> so, do you have anything to ask me? No. No, no, not at all. So, let me ask you, how about the studies, the chemistry? Are you studying well? Yes, ma'am. It's going good. It's going good. Ah, so, yes, can you tell me which was we talking about in the previous session? What are the topic? Ma'am, we were talking about the characteristics of the liquid uh -huh. and afterwards the gases. So you remember everything, right? Most of them. Most of them. So I have told you one thing in the previous session. Do you remember that? At the end of the session, I told you something to prepare for something. Uh, well, because some point is important. That point I remember. Ah, the points are important, but I have clearly mentioned one thing. I'll ask that in the pre next session. Do you remember anything like that? I think Daniel. No. Daniel remembers it, I guess. Yes, Daniel. Daniel is yes, ma'am. I remember everything. Yes, Daniel. What was that? So you said that you need like a big worksheet for yes. uh, this, this next class. Uh, your worksheet. And also, I have told one thing, if you don't answer, I will give punishment, right? Yes, yes, sir. Ah, yes. Now everyone remembers that. So, I have told in the previous session that I will ask questions. I have few questions with me. So, if you don't answer my questions, be prepared to write the impositions. So, here we are beginning with the impositions, okay? So, if you don't answer, surely you have to write it. So, shall I move towards the first question? The first 15 minutes will be the question time. Then we will move towards the portion. Okay. Is that fine for you? Definitely it should be. So, here we go with the first question. Here we are only provided with the MCQ type questions. Okay. Only the MCQ. You can choose the options from here. So, in which form do the water molecule have less Kinetic energy. If you know the answer, what do you have to do? You have to comment it right over there. You have to comment it. And if you know the answer, you can raise your hand, but I will not pick from the hand rises. Uh, yes, I want you to give the impositions right. Impositions should be there. So everyone is giving me the right answer anyway. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm with Let's call Hana. Hana. Yes, Hana. Ready to answer it or ready to write the imposition? Hanna? Hello, ma'am. Yes, are you ready to answer or ready to write the imposition? Yes, ma'am. So, you will answer this, right? Yes. So, which is the right option? Quick. Quickly answer it. Ma'am, it's steam. It is steam. So, steam. Is this the right answer? Hannah, how many times will you write? Hannah. I 
think <laughs> she has no, some concerns over here. So, Hanna, how many times will you write the imposition? Hanna? Five. It's too less, right? Five times? No. No. Fifteen times, okay? So, okay. everyone quickly take down the questions and along with the answer, okay? So, Anvir one. Okay. So you have to write it 15 times. I'll ask in the next question. If you are not done with that 15 questions, um, yes, Gusha, clearly I will give another one. Okay. What Let's was your name, ma'am? Let me note it. Grisha. Oh, Hanna, right? Oh, oh yes. Ah, previous yes. one. Previous one. Hanna. Yes. Yes. Next one, Grisha. Grisha. Yes. yes. Can you answer it? I think steam only. Steam only the correct answer. Again, 15 yeah. times. I have given the imposition to her 15 times. Again, you're like, ma'am, it is surely the steam. I'm ready to write the imposition. So, write the imposition. It's not steam. It's not steam. Oh. Okay, let's um, unmute Chandru. Chandru. Man, ice? Yes, definitely ice. How can it be steam? Steam will be having larger kinetic energy, right? Steam is the one which will be having more kinetic energy so that they move around so freely. Ice, the particles are so closely packed, they cannot move. They have the less kinetic energy. So, ice is the correct option. So, Hanna and what was the name, ma'am? Grisha. Grisha. Yes. Hanna and Grisha. 15 times. So if you are not done with the writing question, you can just take a screenshot. Okay, take a screenshot right after the class. Okay, I'm moving forward. Take a screenshot, pick in one, two, and three. Yes, here we go. The next question. Which of the following has highest kinetic energy? Highest kinetic energy, okay? Highest kinetic energy. We have so many right answers in the comment box. Very good. Keep doing that. So which of the following has highest kinetic energy? Yes, ma'am, I'm going to one. Okay, Crystal. Crystal. The particles of water are 100 degrees Celsius. Definitely, yes. The particle of water at 100 de degrees Celsius is the correct answer. Can you give me the reason, Crystal? Crystal? Yes. Yes. Crystal, can you give me the reason? Yes, Crystal. Crystal, you, you can answer. You are unmuted. And because as the temperature increases, the kinetic energy of the object also increases. Definitely. Very good. Very good. As the temperature increases, kinetic energy of the particle increases. So, particles of water at 100 degrees Celsius will be having higher temperature so that they will be having highest kinetic energy. So, remember, as the temperature increases, kinetic energy of the particle increases. Don't ever forget this. As temperature increases, kinetic energy of the particle increases. So, highest temperature over here is 100 degrees Celsius. So, the particle of water at 100 degrees Celsius will be having highest kinetic energy. Yes, take a screenshot quick. Mm. Done. So here we go. The next question. Kinetic energy of the molecules is directly proportional to what? Kinetic energy of the molecule is directly proportional to. Yes, ma'am, you can understand. Uh, let's unmute Advait. Advait. Yes, Advait. Yes, so right. it's temperature. Uh, it is temperature. Very good. As the kinetic energy increases, as the temperature increases, kinetic energy of the particle increases. I have mentioned that in the previous question, right? So anyway, temperature is the right answer. Very good. Very good. So here we go with an animation. Let's check out an animation. Okay. Yes. The first one. Here we go. As we know, as the temperature increases, kinetic energy of the particles also increases. So the particles are moving so slowly and as the temperature increases, they got more kinetic energy so that they move faster. So all you have to remember is what? 
as the temperature increases, kinetic energy of the particles increases so that they start to move so fastly. Very good. So, moving towards the next question. The interparticle forces are strong in what? Interparticle forces are strong in hydrogen, methyl alcohol, water, and sodium chloride. Yes. Okay. Yes, Abit. Yes, Abit. Abit. Interparticle forces maximum and chloride. Definitely to sodium chloride. Why? Uh, because there is less interparticle space in solids. Yes, because sodium chloride is a solid and water is a liquid. Methyl alcohol again liquid and hydrogen is a gas. So interparticle forces are greater in solids. In solids, the interparticle forces because they are so close together, that is why the intermolecular force of attraction is a very strong in solids. So here the only solid over here is nothing but sodium chloride. So sodium chloride is the correct answer. Very good. Now moving forward with the next one. On arranging water, sugar and oxygen in increasing order or force of attraction between the particles which of the following will be the correct arrangement okay, I hope everyone is taking down the questions or taking a screenshot of the questions and you have to write it down later okay these are important questions uh. okay it's on your Rishikesh Rishikesh yes Rishikesh um, ma'am is uh, water uh. Uh, water uh, oxygen it's too good. So tell me, uh, the force of attraction will be greater in which state of matter? Is it solid, liquid, or gas? Ma'am, uh, solid is uh, solid is uh, solid is sugar. Uh, water is liquid. Um, no, water. I didn't ask that. I didn't ask that. The force of attraction between the particles higher in which state? Sugar. Ah, sugar. It is a solid, right? Yeah. So, sugar will be having higher force of interaction between the particles. Then comes who? Mm. Water. Then comes water. Then. And oxygen. Then comes the oxygen. So, you gave me the first option, right? It's completely wrong. So, you are going to write down the imposition for 15 times to Shigish. Rishikesh, you are going to write it 15 times, okay? Even though you know the answer, you are like, hmm. Fine. So, call the next one, ma'am. Okay, let's ah. Nirmai. 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 Yes, Nirmai. Ma'am. Give me the correct order. Ma'am, uh, it is sugar, water, oxygen. Sugar, water and oxygen. That's right. Last one is oxygen, water and sugar, right? Well, I read it from the backwards. <laughs> so, it is in the order. Oxygen is less than water, mm. water is less than sugar. So, you gave me the fourth option, right? Right? Yes, sir. Yes, so that is the correct answer. The force of attraction is greater in sugar than the water, than the oxygen. So, the fourth option is the correct answer in the increasing order. So, oxygen will be having lesser force of attraction because it is a gas. It is a gas and water is a liquid will be having more force of attraction than the oxygen. And sugar as a solid will be having higher force of interaction between the particles. So, fourth option is the correct one. Fourth option is the correct one. Very good. I hope you took down this. Moving forward to the next question. Large volume of compressed natural gas CNG is available in small cylinder due to its property of what? Mm -hmm. uh, unmute one man. Okay, let's unmute Ayman. Ayman. Yes, Ayman. Uh, yes, ma'am. High inflammability. 
No, no, no. Low, uh, the high compressibility. Yeah, ah. because gases can be easily compressed. Very good. High compressibility. Because the gas can be highly compressed. That is why we are uh, compressing a large amount of gas in a small cylinder. We can compress a large amount of gas in small cylinder. So, high compressibility is shown over here. So, the animation. So, what about the compressibility of liquid and solid? We have an animation over here. So, everyone look here carefully. Okay. Look over here. Yes, sir. Let's conduct an experiment. Okay. Let's conduct an experiment over here. Uh, here we go with an experiment. Okay. So, we have three syringes over here. And the top of that is completely closed. A closed needle is okay. Closed syringes over here. And first we are provided with the water. It's an example for liquid. And here we are provided with the chalk powder. Chalk powder, okay. Chalk powder is an example for solid. And gas is present in the air, right? So we can take the air. Mm. So let's conduct an experiment in the first syringe. Yes, sir, you can play it. So Let's open it and first let's pour water in the first syringe and let's take chalk powder in the second syringe and the third syringe, it is already air over there, right? And let's close it, let's close it and watch it, watch it carefully, okay? So water and the solid, a liquid and solid, it is not compressed. Even though we press it, it is not compressed. But the gas over there in the third syringe, syringe, we can compress it. We can compress it. Can see that, right? So this is an example where the gases can be compressed, whereas the solid and liquid cannot be compressed. Okay, solid and liquid cannot be compressed. We cannot press the syringe anymore because they are already in a compressed state. But we can press the third one which is filled with the air because the gas can be compressed a large amount of gas can be compressed in a small cylinder okay is that clear for you i can see so many cam camera off there why is that i don't know how many so times how many times have, yeah how many times we have to like you should not turn off your cameras okay yes and is this clear for everyone? Give me them step. Give me them step. It's clear for everyone. Uh, yes. So solid and liquid cannot be compressed, but, but gas can be compressed. You can remove it. Sir. Yes. So here we go with the next question. Which of the following describes the liquid phase? Now I'm with one. Okay. Let's unmute. Meharia. Mm. Meharia. Meharia. Meharia, can you please unmute Meharia? He, she, okay. Nabiha. 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 Nabiha? Yes. Shamit. Nabiha, can you talk? No. No. Nabiha? Um. Not audible. Rishon. Rishon. Yes, Rishon. Quick, we don't have time, right? Quick. What is this? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me sign with Neha. Neha, yes, Neha. It has a definite volume, but not a definite shape. Very good. The third option is the correct one. It has a definite volume, but it doesn't have any definite shape. It occupies the shape of the container which we are pouring in. It occupies the shape of the container. So it will not be having any definite or fixed shape, but it will be having a fixed definite volume that describes the liquid phase. So very good. So that's... Me, mom. Uh, Yes, Neha. Uh, Rav, uh, before when my hand was injured, I took a screenshot of the physical, one second, I noted that down, physical nature of matter. But now I can't find it, so I, I did not complete the notes of that. Can you show that to me once more? Uh, now I don't have that. I have the slides of today's portion. So uh, if you just remember me in the next class, I'll just bring it, okay? Okay. Fine. Or I'll just watch your, wait. Your other videos are uploaded in the YouTube? Yes. The previous classes? Yes, the uh, videos are available on the YouTube. It goes online, right? So it is there on the YouTube. You can just watch the videos. Not every class is 
No, it's in a continuous, continuous over there, so okay. she can watch it over there on YouTube. It's on the YouTube, okay? Okay, mom. Thank yes. you. Alright. So, moving forward, moving forward with the next question. When 45 gram of sugar is dissolved in 100 ml of water, there is no increase in volume. Which characteristic of matter is represented by this observation? Yes, if I mess 45 gram of sugar, dissolves in 100 ml of water, there is no rise in the water level. What is indicated by this? Which characteristics of matter indicates by this? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Let's send you Santo Som. Santo. Santo. Yes. I think so. You can just ask him. Yes. How to pronounce that? Please. How can I pronounce your name? Yes, Alright, so can you answer me? Uh, Which characteristics of math are explained over here? Are you a new student? No, right? No. no I was there was the last two classes. Last two classes, yes. So you must know the answer. Yes, we have the answer in the comment box. Very good. Which characteristic explained over here? Mm, you don't know the answer, right? So you are going to write the inversion. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, fifteen times. You are going to write it, okay? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to have someone else. Let's end with Muhammad Zaha. Ah, Muhammad. Zaha. Zaha. Quickly yes. answer me. Definitely the matter, the particles will be having space between them. So the sugar particles will get into the space of that particles of water. So the level of water is not increasing. The particles of matter have space in between them, which is the characteristic explained over here. So the particles of matter have space space in between them okay they have space in between them is that clear is this all the questions clear for you mm. very good very good so four of you are going to write the impositions and i'm going to ask that in the next session okay uh, yes so here we go the total observation the total observation you can quickly take a screenshot we are already discussed everything right we already discussed this the distance of the particle will be small and solid, medium and the large in gas. Quickly take a screenshot and refer it later. Everyone, quickly take it, okay? And refer it later, okay? We have already given this, but not in a table or compressed manner. So, take a screenshot of it. Okay, I'm not going to explain this again because we are already done with this. Done? Thumbs up. Quick, give me thumbs up. One minute. All right. Yes. Done, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Here we go with the today's portion. Change of states of matter. Literally everyone was waiting for this portion to start. Am I right? The change of state of matter which is a very, very, very important topic from the chapter. So listen carefully and I want your 100% attention during the class. Okay. So change of state of matter which is a very important topic. Okay. So please do pay attention. Please do pay attention. So here we go. What did you do the past 20 minutes? We discussed some questions, okay? We discussed some questions in the past 20, past 20 minutes. So actually here we go with the today's portion. Okay. Change of states of matter. Are you ready for it? Yes, quick. Quickly we will move on to that. So here we go. In the daily life, in the daily life, we came across with the many other uh, possibilities and the characteristics of the solids, liquids and gases, right? We exactly know what are the characters of the solid, liquid and gases and we came across with the different experience, right? Yes. So, here we know the change of state of matter, the common example, which is the common example for the change of state of matter. In daily life, we came across with everything, right? The cheese and it will melt, the butter, it will melt, and the oil in the winter season. And the most common example is nothing but 
water itself so the animation so the water itself is an example for the change of state of matter which is a common common example right so as the temperature everyone listen to me as the temperature increases we can change the state of matter yes sir so here we go water ice and water vapor ice if we raise the temperature it will convert into liquid state and if we still raise the temperature it will convert into vapor state right so solid liquid and gas as the temperature increases it will melt into liquid and it will vaporize into gaseous state right here we can clearly check out the change of state of matter solid into liquid and liquid into gas that is nothing but change of state of matter and a common example for the change of matter is nothing but our water solid ice melts into water and water if you raise the temperature again it will convert into gaseous state or it will vaporize so water vapors okay so it's a common example and we have to learn it so deeply this is not enough right this image is not enough we have to deeply study it so let's go for it okay let's go for it here we go yes so you can remove it it's on a kind of a uh, i'll be there nine o'clock yes anika is there any doubt Anika, do you have any concern? Anika? You're not audible for us. Can you just come in it? Yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, I can hear you now. Uh, Ma'am, uh, I did think seven minutes ago. I ah. came late today. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. No worries, no worries. But you should not be late from the next classes. It is the last warning. Okay, you should not be late from the next classes. Okay, you will miss out the things. Mm, fine. So here we go with the interconversion of matter. So the states of matter are interconvertible. Okay, have to remember states of matter are interconvertible. Okay, the phenomena of change of matter from one state to another and back to the original state. By altering the conditions like temperature and pressure, we can just interconvert the states of a matter. We can interconvert them. Okay. Here we go. The interconversion of matter. Is that clear for you? You don't have to buy hard this. They will not, they will, there is no questions like what is interconversion of state of matter. You don't have to worry about that. Just understand the concept, okay? By altering the temperature and pressure, we can just change the state of matter, okay? So the change of state of matter is influenced by two factors, which is nothing but temperature and pressure. We'll learn it, okay? How do they affect? We'll completely learn it. Okay, so this is interconversion of state of matter. Now let's check how do they interconvert. How do they interconvert? Okay, let's check it out. So then, let's uh, let's check it out with the help of animation. So here we go with the solid. We know that solid have a vibrate in its pos position, right? So yeah. The solid will vibrate in its position so it will not move around. So what happens if I raise the temperature? If I raise the temperature, they will vibrate so fastly, vibrate, vibrate and vibrate. They will break, they will break the bond between them. They will break the inter-particle force of attraction between them and they will convert into the liquid state. Yes sir. They will convert into the liquid state where they have enough space and they have more kinetic energy than the solid because we raised the temperature, right? So everyone listen carefully. As the temperature increases, kinetic energy of the particle increases. If the kinetic energy of the particle increases, they break the bond between them and they move freely, okay? So now I'm again going to raise the temperature. So let's check it out what happens. It will convert into gas. It will convert into gas, okay? So they have more kinetic energy than the liquid, than the solid. Okay, solid will vibrate in its position. If I raise the temperature, they'll break the bond between them. And we, here we are with the liquid. And if we again raise the temperature, we will result in gaseous state. So kinetic energy of the solid will be lesser than the liquid. 
than the gas. You have to keep this in mind, okay? So as the temperature increases, we can change the state of matter. We can change the state of matter. So here we have a hand raised over there with that man. Abit. Uh, yes, Abit. Do you have any doubt? Ma'am, last time I asked about if you put a question on gas, mm. any gas is uh, in the water, the liquid. Yeah, we are about to discuss it, right? We'll discuss it, okay? No worries. He will start with the boiling and melting, then we'll do with the condensation, okay? We'll study everything, no worries. Just wait for it. So, the next thing that we have to learn is terms involved in the change of state of matter. We have to learn some terms, okay? Related to the change of state of matter, we have to learn some terms regarding that. We are going to do that. Uh, there uh. was some concern about previous slide. Previous slide? Uh, I think before that. This one. Before that? Before that. No, she just didn't matter. There's no slide before that. Ask for that. Okay. Previous slide might be thus. Is it to my mom? Mm. Okay. Yes, fine. So here we go with the terms, okay? The first term that we are going to discuss. Now, listen carefully, okay? Listen carefully. So here we go with the first term, fusion or melting and the melting point. We are going to learn the fusion or melting first. Fusion and melting refers to one thing, okay? So fusion and melting is one and the same. Don't ever get confused with that. Fusion and melting is one and the same. And also we are going to learn the melting point. So we already know what is melting, right? Melting. Melting of ice cream. We have experienced this, right? Everyone must be experienced this. The melting down of ice cream. Again, an example for melting, right? The ice creams will melt. So, if they ask in the exam, don't write like uh, melting of ice cream is the example. So, no, don't do that, okay? I have given the example just for your understanding, okay? So, melting ice cream is an again example for melting, okay? Melting. Now, the actual example that we are going to give is melting down of ice. Melting down of ice is a clear example for that, okay? Melting down of ice. Yes, now let's check it out. What exactly is melting? What is melting? We have to check it, right? So, we know the example, but we don't know what is melting. So, scientifically, melting is nothing but the change of state of matter from solid state to the liquid state at the specific temperature and pressure is called as a melting. So, what exactly is melting? The change of state of matter from solid state to the liquid state at the specific temperature and pressure is called as a melting. Why everyone is sitting like, what is she talking about? <laughs> so you have to write down everything, right? Write it down. The change of state of matter from solid state to the liquid state at specific temperature and pressure is called as melting. Again, okay. melting. So change of state of matter from solid state. Let me show you the color of the pen. Here we go. Solid state. To the liquid state at the specific temperature and pressure is called as melting. Melting. Is melting clear for you? The solid state. Ice. Ice was in solid state. If I raise the temperature, it converts into water. It converts into water. So solid state into liquid state is called as a melting. Solid into liquid is called as melting. You have to mention it. At specific temperature and pressure okay don't ever skip the temperature and pressure okay so at the condition at certain conditions of temperature and pressure the solid state can convert into liquid state and this exactly is called as a melting melting okay solid into water solid into water is an example for melting okay so ice into water ice into water is an example for a liquid now what exactly is going on here 
So here, this is the closed packed arrangement of particles in the ice. We already know that, right? This is how the particles will be arranged in the block of ice. In a block of ice, the particles will be arranged so closely, right? They arrange it so closely together. They have less kinetic energy. They only vibrate in its mean position. But what happens if you raise the temperature? What happens if you raise the temperature? As the temperature increases, the kinetic energy increases, they vibrate so fastly, vibrate, vibrate and vibrate, they will break the bond between them and they will gain more kinetic energy and they will convert into liquid state, okay? They will convert into liquid state. They will convert into liquid state. This is how the particles will be arranged in the liquid state. They have space in between them. Then when compared to solid, they have more space between them and they have more kinetic energy than the ice. Okay, so what happens over here? As the temperature increases, the bond between the particles just breaking and they just melt down. They will just melt down into liquid. Okay, is that clear? The melting, is it clear for you? Is the melting clear for everyone? Give me thumbs up. Give me thumbs up. Quickly give me thumbs up. Uh, there is a request for the uh. previous slide. And also slide? one more repetition. Repetition of this? Can you please hand me your hand for that? Okay. Uh. No. So do you want me to repeat this again? If anyone has any uh, Yes, I will. So here we go, the melting. Okay, what are we studying over here? Melting. Okay, we are studying melting or fusion. Fusion and melting is one and the same. So what happens if you just remember what happens to uh, ice and liquid? You can just uh, write down what is melting, right? Ice into water. Ice will convert into water with a raise in temperature. If the temperature rises, the ice will melt into water. We already know those things, right? The ice will melt down into water. Ice will melt down into water if the temperature is increased. That is exactly called as melting. Conversion of state of matter. So solid is a state of matter, liquid is also a state of matter. So the conversion of state of matter from solid to liquid. Okay, solid to liquid at the specific temperature and pressure. So we have to mention at the specific temperature and pressure. Okay, we are applying some temperature and pressure. Then only the change of state of happens, right? If we don't raise the temperature, if we kept the temperature at a constant level, the state cannot be changed. So we have to raise the temperature and the pressure so that they change it, okay? At specific temperature and the pressure. So solid converts into liquid, ice, converts into water. So here we go the arrangement of particles. So the first one, the particles of ice is so closely packed with each other and they only vibrate in this position, right? They only vibrate in its position. So if we raise the temperature, we are going to raise the temperature as we know. Mean, uh, the, as the temperature increases, kinetic energy of the particle increases. If the kinetic energy of the particle increases, they move faster, they vibrate faster. If they vibrate so fast, they are going to break the bond between them. The particles will break the bond between them and they will melt into liquid and they will be having more kinetic energy than the solid state and they will be having space in between them. So the solid is just converted into liquid, okay, it is just converted into a liquid. Now is it clear? Is it clear for everyone now? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Yes. The next thing we have a hand over there. Uh -huh. Yes, Mehara. Yes, Which is the previous slide? <laughs> is this the previous slide you want? Before that. Before that, this? I want to write that. You want to write this? Yes. Are you going to draw the ice cream diagram? The, <laughs> the picture of ice cream? No, right? Yes. Done? Meharab, is that done? Yes. Yes. So here we go. We already discussed this. Now the next term that we have to remember is what is melting point? Okay, what is melting point? Here we are learned with the melting 
the ice will melt into water the solid will melt into liquid at specific temperature right at specific temperature and that specific that constant temperature is called as its melting point okay so the ice at specific temperature it will start to melt am i right at specific temperature it will start to melt so that specific temperature is called as a melting point so what is melting point exactly the constant temperature at which a solid changes into a liquid is called as a melting point so what exactly is melting point if a solid or the ice is converting into a liquid at the specific at that point of temperature and that point of temperature exactly is called as a melting point yes and right say yes yes mass yes mass on the other side previous slide one more again Again to the previous slide. Again, should you draw the ice cream? What is it? Should you draw the ice cream? No. Okay, thank you. This was the one. Mass, really? Mass, really? We are not okay, joking she's... over here. We are studying, right? Okay. I don't she's... have anything to tell. I'm going mm -hmm. forward. Yeah, so we have one more. Uh, yes, Rashid. Yeah, if we have, if anyone have this kind of doubts, please don't. We don't have time for that, right? If you have any concerns like that, you can just just ask in the comment box. I can see that. You can just ask in the comment box. Okay. Yes. Yes, Rashid. I'm not joking. So what is it? Yeah. All right, Mas. Hmm. Yes, Rashid. Bye, we learning there for melting one. Uh, what is it? Ma'am, we learning grade four. You are learning what? We learning grade four and grade five. The melting point. I'm good. Just come in it, okay? Come in it. I'm not getting what is your question as. You are learning something melting point and what is that verse in between? I didn't get it. You can just come in it, okay? Just come in it, Rishikesh. I can see the comment box over there. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Yes, I'm going to continue that. So melting point. So the temperature at which a solid melts into liquid is called as its melting point. So here we have an ice. The temperature at which the solid or the ice start to melt is called as its melting point. And the melting point of the ice is nothing but a zero degree Celsius. Zero degree Celsius is the melting point of ice. So at zero degree Celsius, ice will melt into water. So at zero degree Celsius, definitely our ice is going to melt. Okay. So ice melting point of ice is nothing but zero degree Celsius. Zero degree Celsius is the melting point of ice. Don't ever forget this. So what exactly is melting point? The temperature at which a solid converts into liquid is called as melting point. And at zero degree Celsius, our ice is going to convert into water. So, 0 degree Celsius is the melting point of ice. Melting point of ice. Okay, at 0 degree Celsius, ice will melt into liquid. Yes, we have a hand raise over there. Anaga. Yes, Anaga. What's the difference melting and melting point? Melting is just conversion of state of matter from solid to liquid and melting point is the temperature at which they convert okay so you have to mention the melting point is the temperature okay so melting is just converting into the states of matter is just melting okay solid into liquid is called as melting now melting point refers to the temperature okay zero degree celsius is a temperature right so ice into water is melting so zero degree celsius is a melting point okay thank you, thank you. yes so ice into water is exactly called as a melting so and what is the melting point 
it is 0 degree Celsius. So change of state of matter from solid to liquid at a specific temperature and pressure is called as melting. And the temperature at which the solid converts into liquid is called as melting point. Okay, so melting point, don't ever skip the temperature because melting point itself refers to the temperature. Temperature, okay. Yes, was there a melting point here for everyone? Is a melting point here for everyone? Ma'am, unmute one. Okay, mm. uh, let's ask questions. Yes. Okay, let's ask Rishigesh. Rishigesh. Uh, grade 4 and grade 5 I think uh, oh, you already learned learn everything that. in grade 4 and grade 5 Rishikesh all right very good so Rishikesh since you are learning melting and boiling from the fourth grade what is melting point um, uh. the, the constant temperature at which the solid changes Melting. melting point. So, what is the melting point of water? I'm sorry, is this ice? Melting point of ice. Melting point of ice is, uh, is a solid. Melting point of ice. Zero? Yes, zero, zero what? Is it just zero? Zero degrees, ah, zero degrees Celsius. Very good. Melting point of ice is nothing but zero degrees Celsius. Do anyone have any concerns with that? Um, anyone have any doubts? Ah, yes. Uh, I think Abit has Yes, Abit. I just wanted to answer the question. I just wanted to answer the question. Very good. All right. I will give a chance in the next time. Okay. So, 0 degree Celsius is the melting point of ice. Is this much clear for everyone? Clear so far? Right? Hmm. So, at degree, 0 degree Celsius, ice will begin to melt. Okay. At that temperature, that temperature exactly is called as melting point. Melting point. I hope everything is clear so far. Right? Uh, shall we move forward to the next one? Here we go. What is this? What is this? Uh, nothing but boiling, right? It's boiling. So from this image itself, you can tell what is boiling, right? Can anyone tell me what is boiling? Boiling. We have already seen what is boiling, right? Boiling. Here we go. Boiling. Boiling of water. What is it? Exactly is boiling. Yes. Okay, Atul. Yes, Atul. Yes, Atul. Ma'am, boiling point, ma'am. Uh, no, just boiling. Just tell me what is boiling. Ma'am, when liquid is converted to gas. Definitely very good. Very good. Boiling is nothing but the change of state of matter from liquid state into gaseous state at specific temperature and pressure is called as what? The boiling, boiling, they are boiling, right? If the boil, if the water is boiling, they will just convert into water phase to gaseous phase. So they will vaporize, right? They will convert into gaseous state. As you can see over here in this image, if they boil, if they boil like this, they will just convert into gaseous state. They will just convert into gaseous state. So what is boiling? The change of state of matter from the liquid state to the gaseous state is called as a boiling. It's called as boiling. Here we have the beautiful image where the water boils. If they boil, they will just convert into vapor state. If we keep on boiling the spot, the spot, so if you come back after uh, 30 or 20 minutes, you cannot find any water left in the pot, right? Do anyone have any experience that? Have you ever burned a pot or cooking utensil? Ah, yes. Now, uh, the first one, Navanit, right? Yes, I uh, know. Uh, Here, Niranjan. Yes, Niranjan is like, yes, ma'am, so many times. I will do the same in every time when I cook. So, you have experienced this, right? Oh, uh, we no, have no, the hand rest. Yes, ma'am. I did that. Okay. Mm. Yes, John. John, yes, John. And also, we have to wish. Especially when I make tea. So, my mom, I just leave it there. So, leave it there. So, what is exactly happens over there? 
what exactly happens is when the D uh, starts to boil, uh. it uh, converts into the water. The vapors. Can you say water vapors? Vapors. Yeah, yeah. you can say vapors. Yeah. Yeah. It converts into vapors. Sometimes, first, it overflows because of the heat present. <laughs> and then, so slowly, it starts to uh, turn into vapor, and suddenly, there's nothing there. Alright, oh, there will be nothing all left over there vanished. because it's already vanished. Everything will be vanished in the AA, so, and our parents will be like scalding. Ended up with the scaldings, right? So, I just need some more tea before they wake up. <laughs> Alright, so that is what exactly is boiling liquid state into gaseous state. If you are after 30 minutes, you cannot find any leftover water over there. It will be all vanished. It will convert into gaseous state. That exactly is called boiling. Boiling. So what is boiling? The state of conversion of matter from liquid state. From liquid state into gaseous state at a specific temperature and pressure is just called as boiling. Boiling. So water into gaseous state. Water into gaseous state at a specific temperature and pressure is exactly called as boiling. So liquid state into gaseous state. Now let's look into the particles of the matter. So liquids will be having a loosely packed particles in it, right? They are almost loosely packed. They will be having enough kinetic energy to move around. And what happens if we raise the temperature? What happens if we raise the temperature? Again, hello ma'am. Ah. Again, the kinetic energy increases. What happens if the kinetic energy increases? They move fastly. If they move fastly, again they are going to break the bond. And here we will end up with the particles of gaseous. They are almost free from their state. They are almost free, right? So they can move around wherever they want. So they will just convert into gaseous state if we raise the temperature. If we raise the temperature, the state going to change from liquid to Gas, okay, liquid to gas, it is going to change. Ma'am, actually, Rishikesh has um, like uh, this much gap is not enough. It should be loosely packed. Oh, it should be yeah. loosely yeah. packed. I yeah. cannot show yeah. that in my slide. Yeah. So just um, adjust with this, okay, Rishikesh. Uh, all right, I don't have enough space to draw that, right? <laughs> have to include everything in one slide. So this space is just enough. So, okay. I'm just with that. Huh. Here we go with the melting. So, what is melting? Unmute one man. Okay, huh. yes. Durgesh. Durgesh. Durgesh, what is melting? Durgesh. Durgesh. Ah. <laughs> so, it's like staring me to be. <laughs> Durgesh is like, did you call me, ma'am? <laughs> Really, why this message is coming in <laughs> like that? Yes, I called you Durgish. Just unmute. <laughs> oh, why are you so surprised, Durgish? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Durgish, tell me what is meant. Boiling. The boiling uh, is where uh, the liquid state uh, changes into gaseous state uh. by the temperature of the pressure. Ah, alright. By right. boiling. Very good, that is exactly called as boiling. Water, water into water vapor yeah. is an example for that, right? Boiling, very good. Now the thing that we have to learn exactly is boiling point. We already know what is um, the melting point, right? Yes, it is almost, uh, we already know what is melting point. So, can you have a guess what will be boiling point? If you just change few words, you will get the boiling point. So, what will be the boiling point? We have so many hand rises, yeah. so enthusiastic students. Yeah. Ma'am, I will answer this. <laughs> yes, unmute one, ma'am. Okay, yes, we're going. Yes. What will be boiling uh, uh, point? Uh, I think the boiling point is uh, 100 degrees Celsius. That is the boiling point of water. Now I want the definition for boiling point. The point where water turns into uh, vapor. Or yeah, what kind of gaseous point. Yeah, what kind of point? 
Is that refers to a pressure, volume, or temperature? What is it? Ma'am, it's a state of uh, what do you call it? The physical state. Yeah, it's that changes. Yeah, it is changing. According to what? What are, what okay. refers to boiling temperature. point? Ah, temperature yeah. definitely. Boiling yes. point and melting point are the temperatures. Okay, so don't ever skip the temperature part over there. You will lose marks. Okay, yes. so they are the temperatures. So melting point and boiling point are the temperature at which they the change of state of matter happens. Right. So the boiling. So boiling point is nothing but. The temperature at which a liquid starts to boil and convert into gas is called as boiling point. So it is the temperature, okay? It is the temperature, it is the constant temperature at which a liquid converts into gaseous state, okay? It is the temperature, boiling point and freezing point are, I'm sorry, the melting point are temperatures. They are the temperatures, okay? So, if we boil a water, the water will be converting into water vapors and at that specific temperature is called as boiling point. Now, as he said, boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius and it is only for water, okay? So, we have so many other liquids but the 100 degrees Celsius is only for water, okay? Don't get confused. So, the, don't ever li write like 100 degrees Celsius is the melting point of liquids. No, 100 degrees Celsius is the, I'm sorry, the boiling point, okay? The boiling point of water, not all the liquids. You have to keep this in mind. So, 100 degrees Celsius. At 100 degrees Celsius, water will start to boil and they will convert into gaseous state. So, if the 100 degrees Celsius is reached, the water will boil and they will just escape from your pot. They will convert into gaseous state. They will convert into vapors. So, what is the melt boiling point of water? Boiling point of water is nothing but 100 degrees Celsius. The melting point of ice is nothing but 0 degrees Celsius. Okay. No confusions. No confusions. We have the hand rises. Yes. Yes, Nirajan. Yes, Nirajan. Um, also, ma'am, ma um, it is also known that ma if a body comes in contact with like a high temperature, it starts to bubble up and hand becomes like in a bubble form, right? Yes. And then what? You will get burned if that temperature, if you get that temperature, you will burn. So, coming up, I have a question, okay? So, that question explains everything. No, no, like, oh, okay. I have a question like that, okay? <laughs> yes. Uh, one more was there, I think his uh, hand raising for yes, Abhi. Did yeah. you raise your hand to answer no, no, no. anything? Yeah, yes, yes, very good. So, this is about the boiling point and boiling. Was that clear for everyone? Was that clear for everyone? Give me a thumbs up. So, we have studied two, um, two terms which is nothing but boiling and melting. Melting and boiling. The another term that we are going to learn today is nothing but sublimation. Sublimation. Now we have learned the solid can be converted into liquid and the liquid can be converted into gas. Right? So solid can convert into liquid and the liquid can be converted into Gas. We have learned everything. Solid into liquid and liquid into gas. And what else is there, ma'am? We have already learned everything. And what exactly is the sublimation? You do you have a question like that? So if we raise the temperature, have to write temperature over there, okay? Temperature. So as the temperature increases, solid can be converted into liquid and liquid can be converted into gas. Now, what is sublimation? Sublimation, can you can anyone have a guess what is sublimation? Sure, hand raises already. Hand raises already. Yeah, they they already have. know everything and ah, yes. yes hmm. Yes, who's that? Tabo. No, yes, I can. Um, sublimation is where solid changes into glass. 
solid directly into gas is called as sublimation solid directly into gaseous state is called as sublimation so listen carefully we have already learned how the solid is converting into liquid and how does this liquid is converting into gas we have already studied that now what is sublimation sublimation is the change of state of matter directly from solid to gas without passing into the liquid state without passing into the liquid state they are just directly converting from solid to gas here we have the definition so solid to gaseous state directly without passing into liquid state there is no liquid state they are directly converting into the gaseous state at a specific temperature and pressure at specific temperature and pressure they are just directly converting into that okay solid directly into gaseous state without passing into the middle one thus liquid state at a specific temperature and pressure is called as sublimation sublimation now can you give me the examples for that it's already there it's already there now one minute one man umayma uh, umayma can you give me example for sublimation have you ever seen where the solid is directly converting into gaseous state umayma no no you haven't seen that okay let's ask uh, uh, neha neha yes neha uh, when uh, we burn the incense six uh. yeah in our house then it's in the solid form and it directly changes converts into, gas. into gases very good very good here's the daily life application and do anyone have any other ones yes we have thought of hand raises actually uh. Uh, yes sharia yes sharia uh, the evaporation of snowflakes in the air. Yes, snowflakes in the air. Very good, very good. Now, okay, next. Uh, actually, we have, we have so, uh, so many, many addresses. Races, but and our uh, ma'am over here is just confused. Whom shall I call? Yes, Aaron. Uh, yes, Aaron. Uh, ma'am, the example for submission is the naphthalene balls. Naphthalene balls. Very good, very good. Naphthalene balls, they are all just disappear, right? If we keep naphthalene balls in our cupboards and after a few days when we come back, there is no naphthalene balls. So it is just escaped from its state. So solid directly into gaseous state. They are just escaping without turning into liquid state. So there the example here we can give more example. Naphthalene, camphor, iodine, ammonium chloride. They are all example for sublimated substances. So they are all sublimated substances. Don't ever forget these examples. Okay. Naphthalene, camphor. If you forget everything, just remember this iodine and camphor. And also naphthalene ammonic chloride okay there's nothing to skip you have to study everything okay naphthalene camphor iodine and ammonium chloride are all sample for the sublimation where they directly convert from solid state to liquid state at specific temperature and pressure here we go if we keep something like this they'll just convert into gaseous state they'll just convert into gaseous state right as you can see over here the solid will just converting into the gaseous state okay they are just convert like that this is called as a sublimation now we have one more example one more example uh, okay one minute uh. the engine has any doubt yes the engine yes uh. Uh, ma'am ma for sodium chloride be a, sodium chloride be an example of this ma'am as if it's in touch with air to remove just burn and yes definitely but no, 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 sodium chloride, sodium chloride cannot be an example for sublimation. So they just melt. If we keep the sodium chloride on air, it will just melt into liquid. No, sodium chloride cannot be an example for sublimation. Okay. No, it will just melt if we keep in air. So we have to uh, closely pack the sodium chloride inside a box. Uh, if they are in contact with air, it will just melt. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Aaron. Yes, uh, not Aaron, right? John. John, yes, John. I'm, I'm all confused with the name, so no worries, okay? Yes, John. Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm also just related, but what, have, what is uh, dry ice? 
It's solid, but it gives a little gas to it. I was about to show you an animation. <laughs> yeah, okay. I know. You guys are all so impatient. I know that. <laughs> so, I was literally talking about that and man just stopped me over there. Sanjit, Insha, Anika, has any doubts? Yes. Uh, any doubts or just raise your hand to answer anything? Oh, no, no they have any doubts. No. Yes. 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 Uh, you are not audible. Uh, um, can you hear me? Ah, yes, yes, I can. Not in uh, dry eye examination. Yes, I told you I was about to answer that, right? Yes, dry eye session also an example. And I'm going to show you an animation. Okay, wait for it. And here we have Anwar. Ma'am, what was that? Yes, uh, Insha. Ah, Insha. Ma'am, I have a doubt. Uh, Yes. Ma'am, for sublimation, uh -huh. if lava is put on ice, is such an example? Lava? Uh, lava? From where will you get the air lava? <laughs> lava? Putting on? Uh, putting on ice. ice. Okay. <laughs> it's too much temperature. It quickly becomes a vapor. It's not an example for sublimation. But the water vapor just raises the temperature all of a sudden, so it is just converted the state of matter within seconds. So it's not an example for sublimation anyway. No. Okay, mm -hmm. As the temperature is increasing all of a sudden, the state of matter happens again all of a sudden. So you cannot see that. Huh. That's it, right? So here we go. I have another example for sublimation that is exactly the dry ice. Dry ice, survey animation for us. So dry ice. Here we have some dry ice over here. So pause there, okay? So what is exactly the dry ice? Is that ice dried again and again? Dry ice. No, it is not the dry ice. Dry ice is nothing but solid carbon dioxide it is nothing but solid carbon dioxide someone is like ma'am carbon dioxide is a gas how can it be a solid we can solidify it under high pressure and all okay we can solidify it so the solid carbon dioxide is exactly called as dry ice okay dry ice so what is dry ice? It is solid carbon dioxide. Solid carbon dioxide is called as dry ice. Never ever forget it, okay? And it will be useful in the higher studies too. So please don't forget this. Solid carbon dioxide is called as dry ice. Dry ice, okay? So dry ice or the solid carbon dioxide is also an example for sublimated substance. It is also an example for sublimation, okay? So if we just keep open the solid carbon dioxide, it will just convert into gaseous state. So now you can play the animation for me. Yes. Here we go with the animation, it will just convert into gaseous state as like other substances do. Right, the solid carbon dioxide, it will just convert into gaseous state. If we keep open the solid carbon dioxide, it will just be pressed like this. It will just convert into gaseous state like this, okay. So dry ice is an again example for the sublimation, again example for a sublimation, okay. So solid carbon dioxide is nothing but dry ice. Dry Actually, ice. when ah, you is can post our QS time or exam time? <coughs> when is our QS time or exam time? Uh, then it's last, last five ten minutes. minutes. Yes, last right. five minutes of the session. Uh, I think everyone, some of them are so much <laughs> eagerly waiting for the exam for and to finish up the class, right? Uh, <laughs> yes. So here we go, the dry ice. So John, unmute him, man. The, the John, one. Okay. Ah. Yes, John. Yes, John. Can we make dry ice at home? Dry ice at home? No. We can you solidify that carbon dioxide? We cannot do that at home. So some experience are, experiments are there. The unit of guess just teach everything. So not exactly. We want the high pressure to solidify it. <laughs> it is not easy actually to solidify the carbon dioxide. First of all, we have to get the carbon dioxide. And at high pressure, we have to solidify it. So it is quite difficult at home. Okay. Yes. Okay. So 
why do you want to prepare salt and carbon dioxide in foam? <laughs> Alright, yes ma'am. The hand rises over there? Yeah, Mars and Isha. Ah, yes ma'am. Am I? Ah. Sir, so, is it actually a way to make dry ice? Dry ice is what? Can you make dry ice? Uh, that, that was the exact question John asked, right? Can you prepare? Why you guys want to prepare solid carbon dioxide which, is, which has no use for you? So why do you prepare solid carbon dioxide in your homes? I mean, it, yes, it is just a Yeah, if, yes, we want, nice. if you okay. want to prepare, you can, okay? But it's a little I mean, difficult for you. Huh? But, but do you know the recipe to make rice? What? Uh, what is it? Do you know the recipe to make dry ice? Recipe to make dry mm -hmm. ice? Yeah. John, we have a recipe to make carbon dioxide. <laughs> dry carbon dioxide. Yes. I mean, it would be it would be like nice, like a cool way because if you would like dry ice and water, yeah, it makes like like this cool smoke. Uh, so get, that's like... You will get this cool smoke. So in order to get that cool smoke, so you want to prepare the solid carbon dioxide in your homes. Or, or you can just like buy it. Like, yeah, that's a better option. Go for it. You can buy it. Yeah. But I mean, you can, but if you buy like it at a high cost, instead, like the cheaper ways, which is bigger. Yeah, John, just contact uh, Mars, okay? And togetherly, you can prepare the solid carbon dioxide and you can enjoy your weeks. Uh. And also, Insha, yes. Insha. Yes, Insha. Ma'am, I have a similar question. How are dry eyes found? How dry ice is formed? I have told you, right? The carbon dioxide is a gaseous state, so high at high pressure, we can just solidify it, okay? By applying the high pressure, we are going to discuss that, okay? In the effect of pressure, we'll just discuss it, okay? Ma um, who made we have the effect of temperature ice? and pressure, we'll discuss it. Huh? Ma who made dry ice? Who, who made dry ice? ice? The scientists, of course. Some chemists should be there. So they tried everything and they made it. <laughs> I don't know the I don't know the specific name of that person who made dry ice. No, really, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. There we have the hand rice Naranjan. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yes, Naranjan. Ma'am, I said, no, dry ice is made up of carbon dioxide. Now, isn't it actually really hard to come just to form it into a cube shape as if it's a gaseous form? So, gaseous form. So, how can we do it, ma'am? Yeah, that's. That is what exactly I have told you, right? We have to apply high pressure. Then only they can convert into it. So I think they are not listening at all. Yeah, everyone is keep on asking me. Again and again. No, no, no. I, I, I listen to her when the another someone asked the same question, but like, how can we even form form the man? Like, wouldn't the gas escape or something? So it all. Or like, it, it all be formed, right? It all happens in industries, right? They apply large pressure on it and the gas will just convert into solid. Okay, we learned that. Our the effect of changing. So much advanced. We yeah. can do whatever. It's we not want. like I have two hands and I can suppress it. It's yeah. not like that. We have so many other equipments to do that and we have so many instruments for that. And well occupied, the human minds, everything is there for us, right? So we can do it. Yes, John. Man, this is my last question about dry ice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. If, if we add dry ice to a kind of uh, uh, to a drink, <laughs> you just add, and then we can't just send one glass. Yeah. Would, would it affect the drinking anyway? <laughs> Yes, of course. It's the carbon dioxide. It's carbon, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, carbon dioxide is the only thing that is in the uh, beverages, right? The carbonated drinks. The carbon dioxide is already done the uh, carbonated drinks, so there is nothing wrong to put the solid carbon dioxide over there, I guess. But so if you want to check it. Actually, but we will not do that. But actually, we will not do that, okay? So if you want to try, John, take yes, uh, a cup of water and buy some solid carbon dioxide and put it over there and bring it. Let me check. Uh, will you be there in the next class? And I will make sure of that, okay? We'll okay. check it. <laughs> okay, yes, that was fun, okay? Yes. Don't take it seriously. Don't drink it, okay? <laughs> huh? yes, he, will, he will be like in the next class, he will write it. Our chemistry man in the 90 plus tuition app have told me to try this death note. So don't do that, okay? 
Ma'am, is there any way to change dry ice into melting? Uh, into is liquid? There any way to melt it? Yeah. You want a liquid form of carbon dioxide? Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah. We can do that. Okay, we can do that. And specific uh, by altering the conditions, we can definitely change it. Okay, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Um, but a more, more At specific conditions, okay? You have to apply some conditions, but not in all the Normally cases. Normally, it will change into gas, yeah. actually. Normally, it will directly convert into gas, but... Uh, yes. But if you want to make it, you can do it. Can do it. So, it. nothing is impossible, right? Everything is possible. So, if you want to get it, you can do it. By altering the conditions. But generally, this is what happens. Okay, I think everyone is done. Uh, Ah, uh, everyone is down with the questions. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. So I hope the give me thumbs up if everything is clear for you. I hope everything was clear, right? The boiling, it was all simple topics. You already knew all the concepts, right? Yes, double thumbs up, double thumbs up. Uh, very good. So if you have any doubts still, you can just save it for another session. Okay, so just save it for the next session. I will answer everything. Okay. Uh, anyway, the class was so interesting due to all those questions. Thank you for asking me all those questions and making this class so interactive and fun. Thank you for that. And shall we move towards the exam then? Exam. Are you ready for it? They are already ready for that. Before. Already ready for that before starting the class <laughs> itself. Someone is like, so. ma'am, exam. 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 <laughs> Right after five minutes from beginning the class, they are like, ma'am, what about the exam? Shall we conduct the exam? Now it's the time to conduct the exam. Are you ready for it? Done, right? So here we go. The exam link is already activated over there. You can just add in it. Meanwhile, I'll read the questions again. The first one. The boiling point of water on Celsius scale. Hmm. On Celsius scale, is it 273, 100 or 110 or 373? I have clearly mentioned that and I have 100 times told like, don't ever forget it. So if you get wrong with this, impositions. Yeah. What is the term used to describe the phase change of a liquid to a gas? Liquid to a gas, okay. Is it boiling, condensation, melting or none of the above? So, what term is used to describe the phase change of a solid to a liquid? Freezing, melting, boiling, no, they are. I got 10. Oh, very good. Yeah. Uh, Which one is a sublime substance? Table salt, sugar, iodine, and potassium iodide. That's all about the five questions. No, we have one more. What is dry ice? Ice having... Ice having no water of crystallization, ice that has been dried, and solid carbon dioxide, and none of these. These are the five questions that we have. Yes, done. 10 on 10. Everyone got 10 out of 10. Yeah, I think oh, very so. good, very good. And you're doing that for yourself, okay? The marks are scored over there, recorded over there, and at the end of the year, all will be calculated. Uh. Ma'am, can you hold dry ice? Uh, yeah, okay. uh, <laughs> Everyone is so confused or okay. interested with the dry ice. Yeah, I think so. Uh. Yes. Shall we discuss the questions then? Since everyone got 10 on 10, why should we discuss? My link is taking time to open. This uh. four, ten, eight. 8 on 10, definitely we have to discuss. We have to find out where the problem is, right? So definitely we are going to discuss it and you can find out where did you made a mistake. Uh. Okay, so sad. No, no, it is not actually said. No, no we got uh, wrong in the dry one. Dry uh, one. So I, I who is that? I think uh, we had already thirty minutes discussing the dry oh, ice, and wow. oh, again so got okay. confused with that dry ice. All right. Hmm. 
Shall we discuss it? Shall we discuss it? Yes, very good. Let's do it. Okay, first question. The boiling point of water on the Celsius scale. On the Celsius scale. It is 100 degrees Celsius. Very good. The boiling point of water. Let me check the color of the pan. Which color do you prefer? Which color do you want? I have so many colors over here. Which color do you want? Come in it. Black. Black? Blue. Blue. Green. So the first Yellow. answer was black. So yeah. I'll go with the black. So the... Uh, no. Second option is the guy to 100 degrees Celsius. So the boiling point of water is nothing but 100 degrees Celsius. No, someone is like, no black ma'am, mm. I want green. Yeah, right. So, no. Okay, the black. And here we go with the green. <laughs> ah, tell me the right answer. What is the term used to describe the phase change of a liquid to a gas? Yeah. Liquid to a gas. Liquid to gas. Who said condensation over there? I think. Uh, Have we learned condensation today? Never mind. And Abhinav over there. Have we discussed condensation today? No. Right? How can we answer it like condensation? The only thing that we have discussed nothing but boiling and melting. Melting is solid to gas. Boiling so is liquid sad. to gas. So what is that difficult in that? That's where you lost the point. It is liquid to a gas. And green color is away. Now the next one is red, right? Ah, yes. What term is used to describe the phase change of solid to a liquid? Solid to a liquid. Definitely very good. It is nothing but melting. Melting. Very good. Now the red is away. Now we are left over with the blue, right? Someone yeah. told me blue. Blue, yellow. Yellow, yes. <laughs> Here we have the one more question. So which one is a sublime substance? B. Who said B? Sugar. Mm. Have you ever seen sugar, sugar getting vaporized all of a sudden? Have you ever seen sugar uh, got uh, vanished from your bottle or you continued? No, right? Then how can you answer B? Sugar is wrong answer. Iron is the right answer. Iron is the right answer. Very good. Now, what was the color? Yellow, right? Yeah. Yellow cannot be seen with the white. That's why I removed yellow. Mm -hmm. um, Madam, actually there are two or three Abhinavis girls, so please tell the surname also. So uh, there are so many Abhinavs in our class. So mm -hmm. one Abhinav is like, ma'am, it's not me. Mm -hmm. Just pronounce it with the uh, sub names, sub names, right? So purple, pink. Mm, I'm sorry, I don't have pink. I have purple. Okay. Uh, <laughs> What is dry ice? Yes, yes definitely it is I that has been dried, right? <laughs> solid carbon dioxide, definitely it is solid carbon dioxide, very good. So that's all about today's session and someone haven't clarified the doubt yet because the topics are just coming by in the next sessions okay we have condensation where the gas directly converts into liquid and someone keep on ask me about that we'll do that in the next session okay we have the topics coming by no worries so here we are ending the session and my spaceship is ready so it is time for me to leave the class okay so I have to really go and thank you so much for watching to me and in the next class don't forget about the impositions the first student is don't forget it okay I'll check it I have the names so don't try to fool me so here we go at the end of the session thank you so much and can I get a beautiful smile from your faces and we'll end the, we'll end the session yeah it's, these are so much difficult to smile somebody's like <laughs> <laughs> and it just really loves. Okay, so we can live uh, for a long time. Yes, someone is like, no, I don't want to live for that long. So I'll not smile. So you have to smile. Okay, keep Teacher, smiling. Uh, keep. Will you specify that names? Who want to write? Uh, you want to specify the names? I think so. Somebody is. So. Someone is checking on me, right? Do yes. <laughs> you have the really uh, the name? Yes, Hanna, Grisha, Harish, and. Song to Shapu. Yeah. You have to also want to write. Yes. Definitely. Yes. And Hannah Grisha and the Rishikesh. Okay. So thank you so much.
so much for watching to me again and i'll meet you in the next class until then take care and bye bye good night everyone